Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have I took a little bit of an unexpected hiatus from a making of videos. <laughs> the uh, kids were sick. Actually, we all kind of took a turn being sick and just work's been crazy since it's the end of the year. And I just, time got away from me and I didn't get a chance these past two weeks to make another video. But I am back today. It is super early Sunday morning. So it's a little bit dark. If you can't tell by the, the lighting might be a little wonky but I'm going to be coloring my hair again. If you watch my other hair uh, coloring video, it was how I like to tone my super like level 10 blonde hair. If, if you look at that video, which I will link, um, my hair is a lot lighter. Um, I kind of toned it down a little bit a few weeks ago, which I did not film or document in any way. So I kind of want to stick with the darker tone for the winter, the rest of the winter. And you know, however long I feel like Keeping it. So I'll insert a couple pictures of how it looked when I did it. It was about a month ago, four weeks ago, I would say, um, in different lighting. I used all level seven um, demi permanent colors. It, it was probably a little ashier than I would have liked, or I wouldn't even call it ashy. It was just maybe a little flat. So I'm gonna adjust some of the tones when I do it this time to um, see if I can achieve exactly what I want. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using mostly level sevens and going darker. Now, as you can see, I do have some depth at the root, but it is very faded. Um, and then the, the mid shaft to ends is mostly blonde now, but it is a lot darker and toned it down than it was prior to. So I'm gonna get everything set up and I'm gonna show you exactly the mixture I'm going to be using. I've been thinking about this for a few weeks, so I think I'm finally ready to jump right into it. So I'm gonna go into the bathroom, take you in there and kind of show you the, the technique that I'm gonna be doing and then we'll check out the end result. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom. It's actually the next day because I ran out of time. That's why I don't have any makeup on. So I'm gonna show you exactly the formula that I'm gonna be using. It is Redken Shade CQ. Um, so I'm gonna be using two different, or excuse me, three different demi-permanent colors from their line. So like I said, it is a demi-permanent, so it's gonna fade quickly, which is fine. I can keep redoing it. These tubes are pretty inexpensive in my opinion. I think I can get each one for like $13 and depending what I'm doing with them, I can get multiple uses out of the tubes, especially since I'm mixing them. So what you do is you mix equal parts of the color with their processing solution, which I've gotten all this stuff from Walmart, um, which they pull, I believe Walmart pulls from different vendors to find this kind of stuff because obviously you can't get this like salon quality color at Walmart. So um, that's how I like to buy it. It comes the fastest and I've done it several times. And like I said, they usually come within a week or sometimes even less than that. So what I'm going to be using is all level sevens. So the three colors I'm gonna be using are 07G, which the G stands for gold. The color is saffron, 07NB, which is chestnut, which is 07 and natural beige, I believe, beige or brown. Um, and then 07CB, which is spice stone. And then the CB stands for copper brown, I believe. And I'm gonna mix them. I think I'm gonna put a little less CB than I am the other two, just cause I want a little bit of copper for some warmth, but I don't want my hair to look red. My hair kind of pulls pretty warm. So I think with that and the G, I don't want to go overboard on the copper. Okay, so I've mixed up my color. Um, this is the color that it is, uh, which looks a little bit alarming, but it has no bearing on what the end result is going to be. Um, what I ended up doing was I did if you watch my last video, you know I measure out my um, <laughs> Shades EQ with measuring spoons. I know this is not the proper way to do it, but I don't have a scale. Um, so I did two tablespoons of the 7, 07G, two tablespoons of the 07MB, and then a half, I chickened out a little, so I went a little bit less on the 07CB. So I only did a half a tablespoon of that, and then equal parts of the processing solution. So four table 
four and a half tablespoons of the processing solution. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna apply it to my roots first, just so they get a little bit darker and deeper and that'll allow them to process a little bit longer. And then I will finish with the mid shaft to ends and then the front. Like I said, I'm just going all around the root area just to make it a little bit darker and just going down a little bit further in the back just to mimic a shadow. And then I'm going around the hairline as well just to give the same effect. What I'm doing now is just taking the pintail side of a comb to separate out the hair so I can get the root in between all the sections. I find this the easiest way to do this and just to go a little bit on an angle so it's not such harsh lines. I'm not too particular in this instance since I'm not doing a true shadow root with like blonde hair and then the darker color. I'm gonna be using the same formula for my whole head so it doesn't have to be as precise. Okay, so I went ahead and did the other side and then what I'm doing now is just holding up my hair and doing the underside. And then I part it down the middle and the back and kind of do down the back of the part. And like I said, since I'm doing the same color all over, I'm not as precise. If I was leaving my blonde, this would not be as messy. I would be a lot more careful because I wouldn't want it to overlap and look streaky. And now I'm just clipping my hair up and doing the underside first, just so that can process the longest. Like I mentioned, I do want the front pieces and the top pieces to be a little bit lighter, so I want those to process the least amount of time. I also wanna mention I really should have gloves on for this. It was my error, I did forget to get gloves, so I wouldn't be, if this was a situation where I was using bleach or something super harsh, I would not be doing this where I could run the risk of getting chemical burns. This product is very gentle and non-damaging, so it's really not an issue. It's not burning my hands or anything like that. And it's light enough where it's not staining my fingers either. I assume that if I use, were to be using like a really, really dark brown or close to black shade, that it would stain my fingers. But like I said, this is a level seven. It's technically still a blonde. It's not staining my fingers at all. Now I just let down the top section to do that last. Just making sure I fully saturate everything. And as you can see, I've kind of roughly sectioned out the front piece because I do want to do those last and for those to be the lightest of all. Another thing while I'm doing this, if you have super light hair and you want to go darker, it's super important to fill your hair before you put a darker color on it. So in this case, I am using, I do want a, a goldish, you know, warm tone, but 
even if you wanted an ashier tone, it's important to fill your hair with the gold and red tones depending how dark you want to go because if you, were just, if you were to just put a ash color or a natural color on top of very very light blonde you run the risk of it looking gray or muddy or potentially green depending on the tone that you use. just brushing through my hair with a wet brush just to make sure everything is fully saturated if you're gonna do this make sure that you use a wet brush because brushing your hair with a normal brush while it has product in it or even if it's just wet and out of the shower um, can be damaging now lastly I am finishing with the front pieces making sure they're fully saturated. And my goal is to just leave them on for like five to seven minutes. I had let the rest process a little bit longer and then I came back to finish with the front. So I don't want them to sit on for a full 20 minutes because I want them to be significantly lighter around my face. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up. I'm going to brush through everything one more time. The full process time from the time I started my roots will be 20 minutes and then I will wash and style. Okay, so here is the final result. It's not a huge change from what I had right before I did this, but I think it came out good. It's a little deceiving on camera. I think I have a ring light on, so I think that when the, let me see if I can show you. You can see when the ring light's off, it's definitely darker. So um, when the light is on, don't mind my baby hairs. When the light is on, it definitely brings out the highlights. You can see like where it's lighter in the front a little bit more, which I like. I also like that when the sun hits it, you can see it has that more warm tone. Um, then in artificial lighting, it kind of looks more um, neutral. I think I could have went a little bit more heavy-handed with the copper brown tone. I was a little bit nervous, like I said, but I think next time I might add a little bit more of that so it does look warmer in all lighting. Right now I'm kind of feeling this color and not now that when I see pictures of my hair platinum, I almost feel like it looks it makes me look older. I also wanted to mention the colors that I used to get to the the like mid-tone color that I had before this. Um, I used two of the same colors. I used, nope, that's a lie. I used 07G, which is seven gold. I used 7M, which is driftwood, which is a matte color. It is an ash tone, but it is not like using like an NA, which is a natural ash. It's kind of in between that and a straight N. So 7M and then the other color I used was 07N. 07N? Yeah, 07N. So I did switch it up a little bit this time. I dropped the 07M because I did I thought that was a little too ashy. I did the 07NB instead of that and then I did the 07CB and the 07G. So a little bit different, but I didn't go straight from the platinum to this color. I did have that in-between tone that had kind of faded. So just keep that in mind if you're a blonde and you're trying to achieve this. I did kind of have a little bit of a process along the way to get to this. Um, obviously, if your hair is darker than a level 7, then this is not going to do anything. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And today is December 22nd. We are gearing up for Christmas. So if you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a happy holiday with you and your family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.